Hi there, I am Iko Uko and this is One Q Food Platter. On today's program, I'm going to be sharing with you a nice sauce. I'll come to the name of that sauce. But you know, we like our rice and stew, we like rice with so many other sauces. But today I'm bringing you shredded beef sauce because guess what? You just get tired of the jollof rice, fried rice, rice and stew. It gets a bit monotonous. So you're looking for something else that is quick, easy, but absolutely tasty. So here we go with our shredded beef sauce. We start first by seasoning. I have some garlic here, which I have minced. I'm going to add this. I'm going to be working a lot with my hands today. So I have the garlic. So I then add some ginger, this time dry ginger. You mix very well. You would add some beef seasoning cube. When I've done this, I would not add much salt, you know, because the, the seasoning cube actually comes with its own salt. So mix properly. Now, a little bit of pepper. I just, you know, I just eyeball it and just to taste. I'll add the corn flour. We've done that, we allow this to sit, you know, just so that the corn flour seeps into the beef properly and coats it well. Okay, so I need just two cooking spoons of oil. That should do, I mean, I'm just eyeballing it. You can measure with your cooking spoon. But you know we've been doing this for some time, so we know how two cooking spoons of oil looks like. So there goes. And as you fry, you try to separate the strips. Like I said, you fry on high heat initially because you just want to brown the outside of the meat. You don't want to boil the meat. When the heat is not strong enough, then you're likely boiling or broiling the meat, but you want to fry here. And brown and nice. Okay, so we'll fry some onion. This is rather quick, so we fry all the vegetables. Still crunchy there. And then I add the green pepper. So we take this out. Okay, so I pour the beef back and add some soy sauce to it. So we add one tablespoon of soy sauce to the meat. And stir. At this point, I lower the heat. You allow the soy sauce to be absorbed a bit and then we'll add the corn flour paste to it and allow it to cook gently. You can actually increase your quantity of corn flour if you have a lot more people to feed with this sauce. And then lower the heat. The corn flour would help to thicken the sauce as well as cook the meat. I would I actually would add a little bit more water because I think this beef is pretty tough and then allow it to cook gently until the meat is cooked and we have enough sauce for the shredded beef. I'll be right back to finish this off. Let me clear up a bit. Stir again. And then I'll add my stir fried vegetables. And really, that's it. I'll serve it up now and then have a taste after all, I cooked it. I had previously boiled some rice, so we'll get the rice there. I just, just a little bit because I just want to have a taste. Shredded beef on the side make sure I pack as much vegetable as possible onto it. 
So next is to taste. And that is it for today. I kind of like the results of what I did. And I'm sure you will also. So if you're looking for something different to have weekend, weekday, then shredded beef sauce is what you should be having on your menu. Till I come your way again, if you want your food platter, check out other videos we have on our YouTube channel. And also visit our website, wonkyfoodplatter.com and Instagram. And also follow us on Facebook. Bye for now.